The famous Argungi International Fishing and Cultural Festival began in 1934 as a goodwill gesture and celebration of peace between the people of Sokoto and Argungu, who until then had been at war. Ohabo Moses presents the festival in this creative way. I could remember the first time I saw the festival as the Arugungu Fishing Festival. I was just saying, wow, 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 in which I went around the city of Arugungu. And this exhibition is a kind of to change the mind of so many people that when you mention Arugungu down this side, what goes to the minds of everyone is about men in water. And this show, when you look around, you can't see men on water. I'm talking about Arugungu in general, the fishing festival, the way they live, the culture, the landscape, and everything about Arugungu. Not, we we'll have traditional wrestling, traditional boxing, doba, car race, and cultural display, and so many other things, not just men on water that make up Arugungu Fishing Festival. Moses studied fine arts at Yaba College of Technology. Youth service took him to Kebi State and has remained there since 2004, documenting the state and her people. This is finding treasure too. It's an oil on canvas, 54 by 35 inches. It's all about the fishing festival after the festival. These are men that after the festival, the question on, on each person's mind is what next, as in the next fishing festival, what will come out on the next fishing festival. Uh, the piece behind me is Arabic reading, reading too, just like the first one, but this one, it's a regular pencil which has been working over time. Um, it's an oil on canvas as well that represents the crowd doing our winter fishing festival. The piece here is Man and Time an oil on canvas piece. One of those men I saw doing Aragungu fishing festival that don't use, as in, don't waste their time. Like, this man is trying to need a bag, as in which he used during the festival. The title is Divine Return. Seen men after the festival going home, on which they have different stories to tell. The title is Arugu Reading One. Oil of Canvas. It's a new experiment which I'm working on. I use the symbols and the, the text to represent the crowd during the festival, which during the festival crowd from all walks of life. The Emir of Agungu. Al-Haji Samaila Muhammad Mera, through his representative, applauded his effort. The Emir feels highly interested in the exhibition, and uh, that's why I'm representing here. And uh, most of the paintings or the pictures being exhibited do depict some aspects of Argungu annual fishing festival. The state government supports projects that put the state in good light. I'm here representing the government of Kebi State. And I've been mandated to congratulate Moses for this bold initiative of the Aragon Fishing Festival. When, when he was directed to have a meeting with me concerning this, uh, I knew that day he was shocked to see me. I'm a Yoruba man, I'm a Christian, and yet, I'm a son, a very, very, very formidable son of Argonne Emirates Council. The state government, through the chief executive, who, of course, uh, and I'm going to give him a piece of information that we will be delighted to hear from, from him, uh, Al Haji Usman uh, Dakingari, is very happy and he has asked me to tell you that henceforth, government will give his full support. Other art enthusiasts are impressed. This is a very, very uh, good, sweet occasion for me. Why? We find a government in Nigeria coming all the way, about uh, 3,000 kilometers, to come to Lagos to celebrate a young man like this. This is a traveling exhibition. Abuja is the next port of call.